Hi yo folks, this is Max from Epic4GTouchroot.com and we're gonna go install the latest FC24 ICS leak. Um, this will install the latest FC24 modem kernel and the stock ROM. Um, so to do this, turn off your phone, hold down the volume down and the power button and uh, you should get into download mode here and when you see that warning screen you're gonna hit volume up and connect a USB cable to your computer uh, make sure to use a uh, connect it straight to your computer not uh, or make at least use a um, make sure you use a USB 2.0 um, hub if you use a hub and then we'll go to our computer um, th this one will be for Windows um, and I'll have another instruction set coming right after this. I'll have a link to it in the description and probably on the video too for Mac and Linux. All right. Now make sure you have drivers installed. Um, I actually didn't install it. So what you can do is download Samsung keys and install Samsung keys and uh, it will install the drivers and you should get uh, some kind of something else I'll, which I'll show you. Let me go install Samsung keys real quick. So I'm running the Samsung keys. I'm gonna install it real quick. Um, you can skip this part if you already have it installed. But, um, you can also do this on a non-rooted Epic 4G Touch. You can just update. I'm not sure if, if it d deletes any of your data, personal data. I'm gonna find out. It shouldn't, um, but we'll see. Maybe it does. And I'll be back when this is done. So now it's installing device drivers. And uh, we should be almost done here. And uh, suddenly I've got devices ready to use. And you'll see here Samsung Mobile USB CDC. So while it's, it's installing. And that's done. I'm not going to run it. You don't have to run it. You can just install it. Um, I just installed it just for the drivers. So that's done. And uh, we're going to go. Um, let me see. You're going to go download uh, Odin 1.85. Um, and uh, did I download it? Yeah. If you unzip it, if you extract all the files, you're going to get uh, version 1.85. And also you need to download um, this one, SPHD710 FC24. Um, I zipped everything in there so you can, it will flash everything for you. It's about 500 megabytes. Download that and run Odin. And then um, you should get the yellow with the highlight. Um, if that means you have drivers installed correctly, hit PDA. Go to uh, go to downloads and wherever you downloaded the FPHD710 FC24.tar, open and hit start. And this will start flashing um, everything that you need. Um, the Z image, which is the kernel, and then the factory FS.img. Um, that is the factory FC24 ROM <clears throat> ROM image, and then it will flash the FC24 modem, and then you'll be on the latest um, stock ROM, and you'll probably lose Clockwork Mod Recovery, but you can always flash any kernel with Clockwork Mod Recovery if you want to use functions of Clockwork Mod Recovery, and uh, I think yeah, that that's pretty much it. But I haven't tried this, and let me go try it, see how it is, and I'll have a review of this ROM also. And uh, I'll have a separate instru instruction set for uh, Mac and Linux, Linux, Linux. And uh, that's what I'm going to do next. Now I'll have set set of three, three instructions for all platforms. Um, and uh, this will work on any any unrooted phone because you're using Odin. You can do this on any phone just to get this leaked ICS. You don't have to be rooted. Um, that's the good. That's the beauty of Samsung phones is that you can use Odin um, or a Heimdall for Linux and Mac and uh, flash these ROMs. It makes things much easier, and uh, it's cross-platform uh, supported versus. Motorola, they lock it down, lock bootloaders, people have to, all these open source developers, they have to figure out how to put these ROMs in there, and uh, it's just a headache, so people start moving to Samsung devices, you see probably like 100 times more developers on Samsung devices 
than uh, Motorola devices and this change has just occurred it's just a radical change and even HTC a lot of people are moving to Samsung um, so unless Motorola does anything they're they're gonna be stuck with you know these phones that no one's gonna buy that can not install new ROMs you know or there's zero ROMs and the Droid Razor they, they have so they have so so many of those yet there's not that many ROMs because nobody wants to develop on a locked shutdown system um, but Samsung is doing great I hope they don't change it oh now it's flashing the modem and uh, we should be all done here and that's it pretty much and basically for Heimdall we're gonna use Heimdall and flash this tar same thing and it should work similarly uh, we'll find out I actually haven't used Heimdall on Mac OS X yet and also Linux um, We'll see how it works. It's almost done. And it should reset. It should reset anytime soon here. And uh, if you get stuck while doing this for some reason, you can always do it again. Um, just, you know, hopefully it doesn't get stuck. If it keeps getting stuck, um, it's something wrong with your drivers on your computer. Try another Windows computer and you should be all good to go. But mine flashed perfectly. And uh, since I have a new, pretty new system here, I just installed new Windows because um, my, my Windows is just acting up. And there you go. I'm going to wait until. Let me change the camera angle here. Turn on the my LED. LED lights. Yeah, I think I need to get a new tripod. One with the handles. I'm doing this all manually. It's kind of. It's alright. And it should boot up. And once I get to the boot screen, I'll show you the about the phone. And it's upgrading. I don't need this cable anymore. Leave it aside for now. And I'm gonna have to go boot OS X and do this again. And Linux, Ubuntu, Ubuntu. And it's upgrading, upgrading, and uh, we should be all good to go on the latest FC24. I'm not sure if it's better, but it should be better because I was, I was on FC05 for a while there and I would lose 4G signals. I'm not sure if it was Sprint Towers, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, the radio related but this one should be I don't know these are all leaks and there's still not an official um, out but then then again you know with the phone like i9100 um, the leaks are actually better than the official that came out and I was already enjoying ICS long time before so leaks not might not be that bad um, and there's a lot of custom ROMs out now and I've been actually going through all of them and um, not all of, none of them are really stable that's why I haven't been reviewing them I'm gonna wait until I can say this is a very good daily driver um, here we go so go to settings everything's working about phone should be back on 4.0.3 uh, baseband that's your modem FC24 the modem basically controls your 3G 4G and your uh, voice um, and uh, FC24, FC24, FC24. Um, I wanted to say thanks to uh, thanks to the user SF Hub at XTA Developers. He's the one who had all the files. I just put the tar file together for you guys. And uh, thanks again. And uh, I'll have in the credits links where you can donate to him. And if you like this video, don't forget to um, hit that like button. And uh, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you have thanks and share this with your friends on t Twitter, Facebook or Google Plus and if you have an Epic 4G Touch don't forget to sign up for my email list at epic4gtouchroot.com I update you uh, once or twice a week or breaking stuff um, right into your inbox and it's just for you and me um, I don't share your email with anyone else and uh, thanks you guys again I'm gonna get really high on Android today and uh, yeah happy Monday I love Mondays I don't know. So it's, for me, like Mondays are fun because the the world starts moving. I hate weekends, you know, because nobody, you know, there's nothing new. <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. Bye bye.
Oh, I forgot to mention this. Um, this method does not wipe your data at all. You actually, I didn't have to sign into my Google. Um, it keeps everything. I came actually from a TMZ custom ROM and I have all my apps, all my settings. Um, so my Gmail is still working. So, but just in case, it sometimes you can end up in a boot loop if you're coming from a custom ROM um, because the data is corrupt or whatever. Um, you can do a stock reset. Uh, hold down the volume up and the power button together for about 10 seconds. And uh, there's a menu. You can get into the stock recovery here. Show you in a second. And you get in this menu, let go of both buttons, um, select wipe data factory reset and say yes and it, and then reboot and you should be all good to go but I'm not gonna do it because um, I already have my data <laughs> I don't wanna wipe it and you should be able to get out of those boot loops anyway just an addition alright see y'all